What's going on guys? This is a very interesting video. It is going to be May 13th and the price of the productivity course has gone up and now we're getting into the corporate citizen boogie. And this is going to be a really different thing. Really, 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 really different. So watch this video from the beginning to the end because there will be some benefits and offers to you. One of the things that I'm getting ready to do, and last month I did the money course, and this month I did the productivity course, and I have a feeling that the corporate citizen playbook, that's the new thing, the link is below. Um, I'm gonna do some really special offers this month. So stay tuned for that. But one of the things that I used to do was like create a bunch of multiple courses and stuff. And I didn't really like that. And what I'm gonna do in the Corporate Citizens Playbook is create a long course. Um, what I did, I said I was gonna do some new training and stuff, new platform, new everything. And that starts pretty much let's say Sunday or Monday because right now we're doing the pre-sale and essentially there's going to be a lot more in this course a lot more give you an example there's going to be the corporate speeches that's the first part and then we're going to get into business credit for people who have businesses and then we're going to get into management we're going to get into hiring we're going to get into how to market your business. There, there's a lot that's going to go in this course that I'm not going to repeat or use any other stuff because this is all new. I've had a holding company since 2018. I've learned so much, so much about that. That's going to be in this course. And one of the things I want you to look at what I've been doing. I reset the YouTube channel. I reset all of this stuff. And one of the things that we're getting ready to do is reset the training. And one of the, again, one, I know it's like, why are you resetting the training? Because uh, I have people that find <laughs> the old training platforms and just sign up. But what I've done is I've canceled them and I removed Stripe, which is the payment processor. So you can't buy anything. You, you just can't buy anything because essentially I eat fire dot com is going to be the ultimate training portal because one of the things I'm doing like the money management course is on its own portal that's free and everything that I'm getting ready to do now is going to be at I eat dot com and essentially what I'm going to do is treat create a new course and this is very different because I used to create courses and sell them and then fill them out later. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. And essentially, I feel we will see when we get into it that this course is going to take me five or six weeks to do. And it's going to be a long course. It's going to be a really, really long course. And this is going to be a foundational course for anyone that wants to start a business because I have learned so much from just having my holding company and doing these things and also putting together certain things. And here's something else. There are multiple, not multiple, I'm not opening up multiple businesses, but there are other businesses that I'm going to start, that I'm going to work on. But here's the thing. I am not going to mention these businesses on YouTube. Now, I know you're just like, why is that? Here's the thing. Every time you mention something on YouTube, that business gets flooded or a lot of people start heading over there. This is why real estate is so crazy. This is why Airbnb is so crazy. And what I wanna do is create some deeper training, deeper, deeper training. And you know, I've been talking about this for a while because at one point you couldn't buy any consulting because I didn't really, really know but I wanted to consult and this, this and this is just me. You don't have a business, you don't have an LLC and you're going to pay me $2,500 just to talk on the phone for an hour. 
that, that's just not going to work long term. You know, I still, when I had it up, I would still get people that would pay that for the consult, but that's just not going to work. So the, the consulting is about to become something really, really real. What have I been doing since 2009? I've had a YouTube channel that I've run my business off. And that's one of the things that I'm gonna start consulting on, how to use a YouTube channel to create a business. Because I, I've, I don't really have a lot of views. I've never been quote a big YouTuber, uh, but I made millions and millions of dollars from this channel. And that's where the consulting is gonna be on. And that's gonna be the boot camp. Um, also, I made a video where I was talking about with the corporate training, the corporate training is going to be all brand new and I am not going to bring my students forward, you know, who are doing the corporate training because they've already done a lot of stuff. And there were some people who mistook that because I did have the intellectual property school and I'm going to bring those folks into the new training because you know, one of the things you, you got to be careful what you say on YouTube because people be listening and they form their own opinions and they, they have their own stuff. But one of the things that we're getting ready to do with the intellectual property school is I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do that training at the old set site where most of these people are signed up or bring them over. But we will begin that in July. Now, why in July? Once again, I am on like you should get, you know, the, the productivity course because that's going to teach you exactly what I'm doing, working on my projects, working on one thing at a time. And it is my goal by December to have eight new courses, new training, some books and some other things. So what we're going to do is go very, very deep in the corporate world. And this is going to be a course for beginners, people who don't have a corporation, who, who, who are looking for something. And this is where this course is really, really going to shine. Let's say you already have a business and you're missing a few things. This course is going to fill up. So this course is for people who are beginners. And this course is going to be for people who actually have a business who are not like creating the sales process. Let's talk about that. That's going to be a section of this course. And the first thing you need in creating the sales process is an actual customer who needs your product. We're, we're not with that. I can sell ice to an Eskimo. We're, we're not doing that. We're going to find real case studies and I'm going to teach you how to find these people and talk to these people and create a sales process and create a sales cycle. Going back to one of my favorite mentors, we need sales today. We need sales tomorrow. We need sales next week. We need sales next month. We need sales next year and the year after that. So you always need sales and how you get your sales because there's a group of people who, let's go ahead and say they're at the top of the funnel who will buy your stuff just like that. There's like, hey, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I want, I'm gonna buy it. And then you have another group of people who are mildly interested. And that's gonna be probably 67, 70% of your market. And let's go ahead and say your top people who buy it right now, that's gonna be about three to 10% of your market. So if all of your marketing is for the people who are going to buy it now, you're going to miss 80% of your market because your, your, your sales, your management, and this, this is a lot of stuff we're going to talk about how to nurture sales cycles, how to create content. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to get into in the corporate citizens playbook that I've never actually I, I've done it I've thought about it but I've never actually trained on it and we're going to have the LLC boot camp and this is going to be after the corporate speeches where you're going to and you know I've been kind of dickering on this should I teach people how to set up a holding company or should I teach people how to set up their first operational company and I finally have come to a conclusion you should set up your holding company first and we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about how should you set up your folding company? Where should you set up your holding company? And that's because here's the thing. And this is something that I'm going to be talking about with my students. I'm not going to put this on YouTube, but I'm, I revamp my YouTube channel. I revamp my training. Guess what? I'm revamping my corporation because, uh, there is stuff that will be in the training that I have found out 
that is just mind blowing um, situations that, you know, I'm not going to put on YouTube, but I will talk to my students about it to teach you how to properly set up an LLC, how to properly set up an S Corp, how to properly do this because I have been through so much with my current process, which I started in 2018. And when I started this holding company, I had such a different thought process of what I was going to do that has completely changed. And I'm sitting there like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we got a lot of stuff that we're going to get into. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to build. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to create. And I know, once again, uh, I'm going to say apologies to the people who bought stuff last year and just been waiting, but you will be served. You will get what you paid for. And one of the things that I'm really, really excited about is we're going to get into business credit for business owners. Now, in the money course, there's how to get business credit, which you could just form an LLC. You can apply. You can get a lot of business credit. Getting business credit as a business owner with a funding account, your account, an operational account, and you have tax returns is a totally different ball game. Totally different ball game. I'm talking about six figures, lines of credit, and essentially, like at the moment, I'm not applying for nothing because last year I went kind of nuts and I got a lot of inquiries on my credit report. So I'm in the point where I'm just kind of gardening just chilling out i'm not applying for business credit i'm not applying for personal credit i want my credit reports to kind of cool off for a year and then i'll start applying for stuff in 2024 and i will walk you through that process and i will walk you through some things that just i've never really talked about on youtube i've done privately and then i'm going to tell you what you can expect with certain banks I'm going to tell you the whole process because it's really, really interesting how one bank will ask you for your tax returns and they will not do a 4506-C, which is a document that the bank sends to the Internal Revenue Service to get a transcript of your taxes. There are some banks you can just turn in your taxes and they will do your funding off of you turning in your taxes. There are some banks that need the 4506C, and there are so many things that I can talk about from a business credit standpoint, because I think I've got $750,000 worth of business credit. And incidentally, uh, American Express is my favorite credit card. I love American Express. And if I'm gonna teach you certain tricks, certain things you can do, where you can get really large limits. I'm talking $50,000, $75,000 limits with American Express if you have to spend. If you have to spend. If you don't have a lot of spend, it's going to be kind of hard to get those kind of limits with American Express. Because American Express works like this. When you spend and you pay it off, that's how American Express works. So by July... Uh, th this is going to be my second version of American Express. This is the most American Express car credit cards I had. At one point, I had nine American Express cards. I had three charge cards and I had six credit cards. And um, there's some funding that I want to go from with American Express. But I canceled two cards. And I'm going to wait until 2024 to apply for this funding. Because at that point, there will be less credit inquiries and all this other stuff. And I will have a stronger operating account. So I know for me personally, I can get up once again, you know, to a platinum card, to personal platinum card, a business platinum card, and the gold American Express. Those are my three charge cards, and everything else was a credit card, uh, two personal, and then four business. Now at the moment, I have two personal, and let's see, two personal and one, two. I've got four American Express credit cards and three charge cards. So that puts me at seven, I think. Let's see, two. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at with American Express. And I know that if I wanted to get more American Express credit cards, I could. But at the moment, I'm just kind of gardening. I'm just letting things calm down and stuff. And I'll talk about that experience because 
if you do it the correct way, you can like, I got $300,000, $350,000 worth of business credit with American Express and it hadn't even been a year. And that's just with American Express. That's not including my other credit cards and my other lines of credit. So we're gonna be talking about that from a deep and personal situation because I have done it. I have done it. And then this, this is what it's called, the Corporate Citizens Playbook teach you how to set up your corporation, we will start with a holding company. Like I said, I, I made that decision to start with the holding company and I'm gonna to explain to you why. Starting with the holding company prepares you to start other companies in the future. And there, this is why there's gonna be the corporate citizen speeches because there's things you need to know, there's things you need to hear to mentally prep, to mentally prep you for the process of starting multiple businesses and having an understanding and the thing with business credit because there's some stuff that's going to be super 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 interesting that we're going to be discussing in the corporate citizen playbook that i've never discussed because this is going also really important this is going to be real world business experience and this is one of the reasons that i try not to talk about things i haven't done or uh, you know, because at one point I was talking about doing credit cards, but, you know, I got American Express, Capital One, Chase. I, let's see, Capital One, Tap. I, I will have to look because, like I said, because I, I know what I have in the back of my head, but I don't know what I have in the top of my head because American Express is my daily driver. That's the credit cards I use the most because uh, I'll explain the situation with you. I have two American Express business cards. I have a Delta, which gets me Sky Miles, Platinum, and I have the Delta Reserve, right? So what I have done, I have used the on the Platinum. I've spent $50,000 this year on the Platinum, which got me two upgrades for Delta. And now I'm going to start doing the same thing with the Delta Reserve is a business credit card. Incidentally, that credit card has my highest limit of a credit card, 75,000. And I have not used that credit card a lot because here's the sequence. Because once again, there's a strategy for how to use the credit. Use the Platinum first, get those two discounts, then use the Reserve and get some more discounts. And then when I start doing online advertising, use the, the, the gold, because I get 4x points for you know you doing advertising with that card. But once again, there's a sequence. You know, once again, uh, since I decided to reset it, thing now I have two online courses that are completely done: the money course and the productivity course. And in the July, I'm going to have three. I'm going to have the Platinum Citizen Playbook. Once again, we're going to have a lot of conversations. We're going to have. Um, I'm really interested to see how the corporate citizen, um, the LLC boot camp, because there, there's so many things. There are so many things that I have found out about setting up your holding company, setting up an S corporation, setting up your LLC. It's, it's, and this is stuff that you would have to know how to ask the right question to find the information, if that makes sense. Because if you're just out there, because, um, like, you know, the car rental business. And I am so glad because I haven't filed my taxes for this year because it's going to be a loss because the car rental business is going to be huge. It's going to be like $350,000. And I really want to get out of that cycle because even though being a corporate citizen, um, I didn't lose money on the car rental. It put me in a position where, let's say I wanted to well, that really wouldn't hurt me. But let's just put it this way. I'm going to be glad when I file my, my taxes for 2023 because that's going to get me out of that, you know, game of making all these claims and losses and stuff and everything. And this is one of the reasons that I had to have so many conversations with the banks and I was able to get everything that I applied, but it was after having specific conversations. And this is information and training that I'm going to bring into the corporate citizens playbook to help you prepare your business because um, we're going to get into the organization we're going to get into banking we're going to get into 
the companies oh that right there uh everyone is like what kind of business should i start and there's going to be a whole session on there on how you should start a business that is appropriate for you because i know there's all kinds of information there's airbnb there's toro uh, for me personally let's just go ahead and say the car business went well I still didn't like doing that. So for me, from a personal standpoint, the car business wasn't a good business for me because I just didn't like all the stuff that went into it. I just really didn't like it. And this kind of brings me back to the other businesses that I'm getting ready to get into that I'm gonna discuss with my students that are gonna be a little different because I've been doing a lot of research. I've been doing a lot of study. I've been doing a lot of game planning so to speak and i've come up with some very good ideals for me and i think as we have these discussions and i explain to you why i did it this is going to help you figure out what's a good business for you because this is the beauty there's a million different businesses out there there's a million different businesses out there and one of the things and i'm the, the process that's outlined in the productivity course is the process that I'm using to do all these things that I'm doing. And I will tell you, the YouTube channel revamp is about 95% done, which happened because honestly, I was thinking this was gonna take me a year to revamp these channels. It's going to be two months Monday with most of the revamping is happening. I'm starting to get subscribers again and you know it's starting to pop i had one video pop and i've got some other stuff that i gotta get into some other things i want to put in and with youtube i have three monetized channels two i post on consistently one i haven't really because uh, i wanted to really have a good plan before i just started messing with that and using the productivity system now i'm going to start posting that channel probably next week and I'm going to start a new channel and it's going to be really, really different. It's going to be really, really different because I've been thinking, I've been thinking, I've been thinking. And this is stuff that I'm going to share with the people who, because once again, there's going to be the corporate citizens training and then there's going to be the YouTube training. And this is what I'm going to do starting pretty much now into pretty much July is I'm going to create a special and there will be a payment plan that everyone who buys during this special will get everything that I'm going to create the rest of the year. So if you sign up, pay, you know, I'm gonna have a one and done plan and then I'm gonna have a payment plan. And what I'm gonna do is, and this is where it gets really cool, because once again with the payment plan, all I do is I break out something new and all I gotta do is add you to it so I don't have to pre-build the courses and all other stuff. And this is one of the things I'm going to work on from now until July. And I haven't thought about what I'm going to give away. And give me some time to think about that because I am going to give something away. Because the laptop is going to someone, as promised, in the productivity course. Someone's going to get the laptop. I'm probably going to look at that tomorrow or Sunday and then ship that bad boy out and uh, once we have these conversations, because I am really, really excited at the path that we're taking. I'm really excited at the things that are going on. And I'm really excited about this new training because this new training is gonna be very, very helpful. Cause like, I'm telling you, I'm just saying this, having a holding company, filing taxes on the holding company, and going get it, and building business credit with a holding company, there's so much I got to tell you. There's so much. And one of the reasons I'm not putting this all on YouTube is this is going to be for people who actually want to start a business, create a holding company, create this situation. Because like there, there's some things I'm getting ready to do and I'm going to share with you. It's literally going to blow your mind. And you getting part of this training part of this process is going to be amazing 
it's going to be simply, simply amazing because I want to be helpful. I want to create training that will actually help you. I want to create training that will move the needle for you. And this is the training that we're going to do. This is the training that we're going to set up. This is the training that we're going to really, really rock out on. And one of the things that I find to be really interesting, because like I said, I don't know what I'm going to give away for the corporate playbook, but I'm going to give something away. I, I just don't know. Give me some time to think about that, because right now I'm in the process where I'm doing a lot of thinking. I'm doing a lot of planning. I'm doing a lot of stuff. And I am really happy that by December or before December, I'm going to have eight new training programs this is the money course maybe not including the money course and we're going to get into some different things and like i said with the consulting i'm going to start consulting for how to set up a youtube business because that's something i've been making six figures i didn't make six figures in 2009 i didn't make six figures in 2010 but since 2011 up to now, I have made six or seven figures from this business. 2011 to 2023. That's like 12 years. And this is something I know how to do. This is something I know how to train people to do. And this is something I got set up. And I can teach people how to set up a YouTube channel. Because like during this revamp, um, you know, I've already made money. I've already made like 10 times what I would make on YouTube already this month. And I've not gotten a lot of views. I've not gotten a lot of crazy stuff. I don't, and this, this is where the training is going to be really, really critical because one of the things that happens is you cannot lie to your audience. You cannot lie to your audience. And this is one of the reasons that I've eased up on the social experiments. I've eased up on, because essentially, you know, I've done some things as a social experiment, just little things, nothing like crazy over the top. But once again, uh, you know, when I put out that I was supposed to be a father and people got mad, people got mad when they found out that was a social experiment. And I'm just like, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to be about business, creating certain content and creating certain things and doing certain things. So. The corporate citizens playbook is probably going to be, and I'm going to include the art of holding because there, there, there's a certain sequence we have to go through. We have to have the corporate citizens conversations, which I'm very forward, very much looking forward to. Then we have the art of holding and there, there's things you need to know before you start doing stuff. So we're going to have those conversations and in my mind, I see it taking me until end of July to get all this done in my mind. But once again, I got the productivity course done much quicker than the monetary, the money course. And the productivity course is twice as long as the money course. So we will see, cause now I'm starting to get into my ism and everything. And then I got to put together the training and everything. And this video, there's not going to be anything in the comments cause this video is going to come out at like six o'clock in the morning but it's going to be in the description. So if you want to be part of this, you can go to the description and you can sign up. And when I wake up, I will put something in the comments and we're getting ready to build, create, produce, and get those dollars. And I'm very, very excited. I am very, very excited about this. So if you want to be part of the corporate citizen playbook, and once again, the people who are in the intellectual property school, you're gonna get the new YouTube training and all this other stuff. And I'm probably gonna send out some emails offering people some kind of discount. And we will see, because it's gonna it's gonna take me a few days to get all this stuff out and done. But we're about to get into some new kind of training. We're about to get into some new stuff. So once again, if you want to be part of this training, and right now there's nothing there at the moment. Uh, there will be stuff there maybe Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I haven't really decided. And we could just go ahead and call this the pre-sale. And I'm going to write up some stuff. And then once I get into it, because this is the process, once I get into it, I dedicate time each day to work on the coursework and get stuff out. 
we may or may not have webinars and I'm gonna explain to you why. Webinars can be good if you have a lot of people who are interested. And what I found out was like intellectual property school, there's like 150 people in that. I do a webinar, I get 15 people and I'm just sitting there like, okay, maybe the training is good enough without the webinar. So we will see, we will see, but we're gonna be doing like the corporate sprints are gonna be really, really powerful educational tools to get you where you need to be as quick as possible. So we're gonna be doing that. And once again, the links in the description and the write up, and then it will be in the comments and we'll start talking about the things that we can do, the things that we can set up. And yeah, this, the corporate citizen play, the corporate citizen playbook is gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. And it's gonna be a full entrepreneur's warehouse because essentially there's gonna be stuff in there that aren't in a lot of these business courses that actually tell you how to do this business. And you know, there's a whole lot that you have to know about setting up a, co a holding company. And this, this, we're gonna get into a lot. We're gonna get into a lot. So if you wanna be part, you know, and this, this is the creed. Since this is going to drop on the 13th of May, everyone who gets in now until July will get everything that I'm going to do the rest of the year. And then July, that's probably gonna change. So we got a lot of stuff that's going on, a lot of things, and we're gonna have some really interesting processes and procedures. So what you wanna do is go below, it's in the description how to get in, you can either do the one and done or you can do the payment plan. And then we can start rocking and rolling and building this thing out because it's going to be, like I said, there's gonna be information in this training that you just simply cannot Google. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm in business, I have a holding company, I file taxes, I got business credit, I went through all of this stuff and I can teach you how to do it much more better and much more efficiently and there it is. So once again, to get into it, it's below. At the moment, there's nothing there because we're gonna start this Monday, but you can go ahead and get into it, reserve your position, and yeah, we're gonna rock out. Also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an offer where I'm gonna create the productivity course as well. So you're gonna, you get the money course, you get the productivity course, and you get the corporate citizen playbook, all of that. So money course free, the productivity course will help you do the things you need to do in the corporate citizen playbook. And then as we roll out and get into this and you, and like I said, there's, there's things I'm gonna talk about with my students. I'm not ever putting that on YouTube. So we're about to get into it. So my name is Glendon Cameron. If you want to be a part of the Corporate Citizens Playbook, the link is in the description and later on it will be in the comments section and I will see you guys in the next video.